Hello everybody and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution where I have yet again turned the brightness up. Uh, I'm hoping that this isn't now too bright. I think it's a lot better. I can see a lot more of the details on colours and things on the dinosaurs and uh, yeah, it's it's a bit better I think. So anyway, we were in the middle of, I don't even know what we were doing, Frank, just getting an island rating of three apparently. Alright then. So I think to do that, let's have a quick uh, look in the control room and we could maybe pick up a contract while we're in here but I want to see like why we're only at 2.3, what people want, um, we could do with getting our reputation up, it looks like we've got good science rep, getting good security rep but our entertainment rep's pretty bad so I'm thinking maybe like an entertainment contract might be good if we can. Let's see what entertainment wants. Take this contract, it's a good one for both of us. All right, then, so we're just making more dinos. This opportunity is too good to pass up. I know, it sounds like I always say that, but I always mean it. You always mean it, every single time. It's always too good to pass up. I see how, I see how it goes. Right, let's get my tea on the right side of me. Tea is life. Okay, so, uh... I can't do another contract yet, so yeah, just gotta keep making loads of dinosaurs. Loads and loads of dinosaurs. Okay, so let's have a little look at my little actual island rating. So the facility has great safety and great satisfaction. Responsible management of our Hello, Claire. is key, as is creating a safe environment for our visitors. That's nice. So the island management screen contains an overview of the key management elements of your island. Check your overall island rating, division reputations, and summary of finances. You can also see mission progress and active contracts for the current island. Okay, cool. So yeah, um, I need probably more dinosaurs. Yeah, the facility is great, but I don't have any dinosaurs. So that's probably why it's telling me I need more. So one thing I think I will try and work on, if I can, is to see if we can work on fossils and things and see if we can get um better strains so apparently i can work on more than one fossil at once oh yeah i can just like queue them up well we'll just do that for all of them and we'll go out on an expedition and maybe see if we can get a new di a new type of dinosaur because that will give me better variety which is going to be amazing that's definitely something we need for this particular park if we can get it finished in the next uh, little bit of time so Insufficient fossil capacity. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have loads more fossils all of a sudden. Oh, let's actually get another one going quickly. Um, another one for, yeah, Draco Rex and Triceratops. We definitely need some Triceratops in here. I guess they're having a, a ton of fun though, so this is good. We just need to get more different kinds of dinosaurs in here and uh, keep them safe. Okay, so now we have this guy, so silver amphibian with no... Oh, okay, so that's another one to sell. Draco Rex! And Triceratops! Oops. There we are, so that's everything extracting out now and they are off getting new fossils, so I want to try and keep that going as much as I can. Um, I don't know if there's uh, upgrades that we can have over here. I think there are upgrades you can do. So let's have a quick look at the research centre, actually. Review my research. Um, so there's some things that I can research to help with enclosures, buildings, medical treatments. Let's uh, try building upgrades. Okay, so we can... Uh, make the asset containment unit more accurate. We can make uh, improved power output. We can have um, viability increases. Let's uh, research that, shall we? Inventory space at the fossil center. What have you got an increased extraction speed? I imagine I can only. Oh, so when I have more research teams, oh, okay, but I can't upgrade my research center at all at the moment. That's fine. 
We'll just work on the viability of the of the eggs and stuff at the moment. Okay, so let's have a look in the fossil centre at how viable my Triceratops is. 50%, so I can now make Triceratops in like 10 seconds time, at least anyway. But then that's another Triceratops afterwards, so it'd be better off waiting for about 30 seconds. Now we've got some more Draco Rex, fantastic. Fan blinking tastic because I want to make a Draco Rex. In fact, how how far through Draco Rex are we? Oh no, they're Triceratops again. We're 10% of Draco Rex. Okay, so we definitely need to be getting more Draco Rex expeditions going. But it seems like um, eh, it's partially depleted, but that's fine. Seems like we're not getting many Draco Rex fossils compared to Triceratops ones, but that just means it will have a very viable Triceratops population. So, let's make sure that my, my gate is closed for my carnivore. Check the bait feeder. Seems to have 7 out of 10 there, so that's fine. Herbivore feeder. It's got loads in it. That's cool. So, they're all well fed and happy and healthy seemingly so that is really good I'm happy with that but I've just realized what I need to do because we're gonna need to name some of these guys aren't we and I never bring up my patreon okay so I'm just getting that coming up in the background there so you have a massive cage all to yourself. I'm wondering if Draco Rex will be, will be carnivorous, omnivorous. Take the contract. Ah. I have a feeling it'll be worth it in the long run. Perform a successful expedition to the dinosaur park formation. I'm sure I can do that. Absolutely certain of it. I just wish I was getting that um, Triceratops one back again because... That was a really good contract and I had to give it up because I had a contract already there when it gave it to me. I feel very cheated by this, you, you may be able to tell. So if I do need to get another pen, I can just put a line of fencing just down here and they can go in the forest there. I may need to then um, landscape it a little bit and put a little bit of forest in here. Possibly. There's quite a lot of water around here. I could even cut this in half. There's all sorts of things I could do to, to make the to make smaller pens, but I just need to make sure that each of the pens has a bit of water. But they don't need massive great big pens. I mean what Avak did is he chopped down some forest over here and he made a big pen like over here. So that's something I could do if I do run out of space. So you just make a little bit of water and make a big pen. And now we reach the inevitable. Life begets death. Why but did you die? That you gotta ask yourself, was this avoidable? The answer? Ixias. Death, it's always Died fine. of old age but though. Could you have delayed it? That's alright. Well So I need maybe another story. To go and get my helicopter. Is it my Rangers? No, I think it's my helicopter. I think it's the asset security place. Um so it needs to remove the dead dinosaur. Dead Ixius. Poor dead Ixius. You need to Having remove. To Off you go, helicopter. Go get Ixius. Poor wee Ixius. Obviously, I need to make them um, longer lived, don't I? Here comes the helicopter. Bye bye. You were a good dino while you were alive. Bye bye. Okay, we're going to try and see in the Hammond Creation Lab. Asset transportation in progress. If I can incubate a Triceratops yet. Can't quite do Draco Rex, but Triceratops is now at 63%, so that's decent. 
That is very decent. I'm not going to modify the genomes on them quite yet. I might try and do that with maybe some of the um, ones that I've got more viability on. And I'm going to maybe also try and see if I can upgrade this to give me a better reaction speed, success rate. Yeah, let's give it an extra success rate. Alright, I can put that in three times, apparently. Rapid nutrient delivery increases dinosaur growth speed by 10%. DNA screening increases dinosaur viability by 10%. Alright, so you can have speed and capacity. One additional hatching bay. If I research it. Oh, let's just stick in like a couple of viability ones, I reckon. I didn't realise that was so easy. And I could go to the power station and I can increase the power in that, for example. Whatever my power station is, this one. Outage protection. Oh, good grief. And then improved output. Introduces a 5% risk of a power outage. Oh. Oh, right, so we're playing with fire there. I'd rather just build extra power plants, honestly. But if we're stuck for space, that might be something. Last thing I need is, like, my electric fences going out. Ugh. Okay. Triceratops is ready. Out you come. You're a herbivore, right? You're beautiful. I love you. You're beautiful. You are the beautifulest beautiful. Hello. I see you've hatched a triceratops. Might be cute now, but that's only gonna last for about a week. No, they're gonna be cute forever. Shut up. He is beautiful. Right, let's see who my patrons are that I can name this Triceratops after. <laughs> so Caleb, Kate, Chloe, Dupont, and Lullabies. Okay, I think um, Amorist. You should be a Triceratops. Like I say, I don't even know if these people are watching, but... Dinosaur rating 29. So you get a good dinosaur rating, apparently. I'm not going to try and make my dinosaurs... Are looking great. ...fight each other. Well, so that's something apparently you can do to get your ratings and stuff up, but no, not going to happen. I'll probably struggle to be honest, but uh, maybe I could just do more um, genetically interesting ones and stuff like that to make up for that, the fact I'm not fighting them. Oh, we have a couple of, uh, of these guys that haven't been named. Okay, you can be Seckington. Seckington. I wonder if any of the rest of them haven't been this. They, they, oh no, EDM, yep, we've got EDM 6, Edmontosaurus 6, um, you can be Mulligan. There should be plenty of dinos for everybody though. Yeah, okay, well, you're all here guys, you're all here, except for Cthulhu who's over there somewhere. I don't know what they're doing. Ixius will probably have to get renamed because Ixius just died. Okay, for once, this gate is actually... No, don't go in there, don't go in there, don't go in there, don't go in there. It's closing, thank you. I was just saying the gate for once doesn't have any herbivores milling around, so I think I may as well shut it. 
I don't really want them in there. I ideally want them in their proper pen. So I'm just going to have a look and see how overcrowded they feel at the moment. Whether they're feeling alright. They're about in the middle. So we could still get away with a lot more. With them still being in, in the blue zone there. Um, let's have a look at my, my lovely Cthulhu. Where's Cthulhu gone? Cthulhu really likes to hide in the bushes sometimes. Cthulhu. I see you. Hello. How are you doing? So, Cthulhu is happy as a single predator. Eating goats. Getting all the goats to herself. Nom nom nom. Okay, cool. Right, so we need to do an expedition to Dinosaur Park Formation. The Isle of Wight and Oxford Clay. Morrison Formation, Lance Formation, Hell Creek, Frenchman, Horseshoe Canyon. Dinosaur bark in okay cool we'll do we'll do one there it's not really anything I want particularly let's have a look at the fossil center and see what fossils have been picked up on the last few expeditions get them going so we've got a hundred thousand that's all right some more triceratops fossils not what I ideally wanted but it's fine. Okay, and in the meantime, I think we I think I want to play around with some genetics in something. So I wanna get one that's really got quite good genetic good robust genetics already, and I'm gonna try and modify the genome on it and see how that all works. Okay, so we're in here. So can I make this look prettier or something, you know? How does this all work? Null gene source Rana Catispiania. Okay. Apply gene. Can I do something to give it a nice pattern or something? I don't know what I actually just uh, applied there. Oh, an arid pattern gene. Okay. A null gene. Can apply. Extra cardio strength. Gives it a bit of extra lifespan as well, which is really useful. So the ratings of 10. Robust digestion. Every opportunity comes with risks. For now, you've done the first. That is a job well done. Okay, so this guy, the rating isn't really going much above ten. We'll try and we'll try and incubate him. Yeah, so this one I need more. Oh, I see. So the more um, of the genome I have completed, the more I can do to them. So we've got the next. Viability is down by 20%. Ratings up to 10. Resilience is up to 49. And lifespan's up to 56. So it's a much better. Um, and he also has like an arid pattern, I believe, on his skin. 
So I'm hoping that'll give me like a better rating because the dinosaur will itself be better rated. But it's probably good that I'm going to get some more of the Strothiomimus um, DNA because it's going to help quite a bit. I think there's only so much I'm going to be able to do by uh, doing their pattern by uh, getting more dinosaurs. It's going to have to be genetically modified ones. It might be that to get... Oh my goodness, what a beautiful dino. Oh, you look gorgeous. Oh, look how lovely you are. You increased my island rating, definitely. So definitely working on getting lovely dinos like this one. With that lovely pattern on them. But can you only change them to one different pattern? Or can you, like, collect other ones later? Oh, dude, you need to get in the gate, don't you? Okay, let's get the gate open for you. Oh! Don't look at this as extra work. Look at it as extra money and experience. That's fine, I can do that. So, uh, uh, inventory space to a fossil center. I need to research that, I think. The more buildings we have, the more chance to increase our revenue. That's great, but I just want to open the gate right now. Come on, little one. In you come. You can get some noms in here. And there'll be some forest for you. And lots of friends. But none of them will look like you, because you'll you'll be like the, the pretty one, okay? Come on. And you come. Okay, good. Close the gate. So our new Struthiomimus will be called. I think, I think Buttercup. Um, I can find it. Where have you gone? New Struthiomimus. Stripey Struthiomimus. New Stripey Struth. There'll be one running around with a weird name. Here we are. Okay, you're gonna be Buttercup, all right? With your pretty stripes. So that's a dinosaur rating of 10. I'll see what the normal ones are as well, like, to compare. So a normal one of these has a rating of... Also 10. Oh no. Still clicked on buttercup. Jessica, what rating do you have? Seven. Did that increase that rating by three, which is great. Let's have a look. So we've got great variety, great welfare, but we don't have enough dinosaurs apparently. Because we only have 15. Um the capacity is okay. So what makes oh a hotel would help. Okay. We can certainly put a hotel in. Dinosaur visibility increase would help. Food rating, drink rating, fun rating. So we could do things to improve the food and drink, but I imagine a hotel is going to be the biggest improvement that I can make. So let's see what we can do. That is under guests, I imagine, and a hotel. Power 10, though. Stick it inside the pen. <laughs> No, let's not do that. That would be terrible. That would be absolutely awful. So let's see if we can maybe get it to fit in around here. We can. Could, like sort of pop it a little way back into the trees there and then it would look a bit less silly that it's completely out of line. Like everything in this game. Oh yeah, hotel. Perfect. 
I'm just looking for gaps where I can make a big difference in things. Um, it may need to be powered as well. It may need a, a substation nearby. We've got a substation here, but I don't think that's going to quite cut it. I'm going to need a substation outside it. That will do. Link that straight into the power station and hopefully there'll be enough power to... Yeah, that's got 40 unused power, so that's definitely fine for the hotel. Ideally, I would have liked the hotel closer to everything. Um, but I've not planned the park in a very good way in that regard. However, they've got a decent path through here, actually. So they could just come along there and get straight into the viewing area and stuff. <clears throat> oh, do excuse my voice. I don't know what's happening to that today again. Right, so... Lots and lots of visitors seem very happy. I want to see how that changes things once the hotel is built. It's taking a long time. In the meantime, let's do a couple more like Triceratops. Um, and let's see, let's see how... They're 70% viable. Actually, I wonder whether I could get fossils to make them more like pretty and cool and, and awesome. Oh, it looks like we've got some Ostrutheomimus um, DNA, which is great because it's going to help with the fact. An 80k there. I basically paid for it. So that was the expedition they wanted me to do done. So let's do another expedition. And let's go and get the, uh, the more Triceratops and Draco Rex fossils and see if we can increase the genome on those. Because we still can't make Draco Rex quite yet. I don't think we can make... Ceratosaurus, Edmontosaurus. We can make Draco Rex. No, we can't make Draco Rex, sorry. Um, we can make Draco Rex in 30%'s time. So we need a couple more fossils for that, I would imagine. So I'm going to make a trike and I'm going to make um, the genome modified on it. Um, even if it's just a change to the skin. So at the moment, the rating is zero. Okay. So we've got like um, an arid pattern gene on the Triceratops. You can only make one change to each of these. Oh, I didn't actually properly save that in, did I? So apply arid pattern. So rating plus 25%. Oh, I see. So the rating at the moment is 31 and that would be up to 38. So these particular dinosaurs are fantastic for rating. An attack ID, so if I made that have a higher attack, its rating would be up from 38 to 39, which isn't a big one. That would also be 38 to 39. So I could get it up to 40 by adding extra attack, but that makes it less viable. So what I might do is just literally have the, the biggest change, which is definitely the skin pattern. Makes sense. I mean, the, the visitors would like to see a, a dinosaur that's really, really cool. I mean, I've like had a, a a dinosaur that had done a lot of hunting and stuff, and that got really, really good results. Um, it got its rating up really high. I don't know what else increases its rating. I'm not sure, because I don't. I it would be annoying if the only thing that increased its rating was literally like killing other dinosaurs. That would be really, really annoying. So we've got modified genes, um, so it's 66% viable, but I've got things in the research, sorry, in the incubation center that help with the viability anyway. Uh, let's see what was found in fossils. Yay, more Draco Rex stuff. Draco Rexes are pretty and lovely. And 120k, oh, that's good. We're very rich at the moment, actually. It's not doing bad, our park. We're doing bad at all. 2.6 out of 3. Yay! In fact, maybe we can make two of these, like, cool new Triceratops. I don't see why not. So how... The rating on the Ceratosaurus is 78. Yeah, what? Oh, I know what I'm making next. So what kind of, um... 
viability do I have? I, in fact, I could try and upgrade this for more. Oh, we've got reaction speed, success rate, and success rate. I could change that to a success rate. I think I will. I want them to be successful. I don't care if they take a little longer, as long as I don't have to do them twice. Look at my fossils. Don't have any fossils. Have we got an expedition going at the moment? Let's double check. We do not. Um, so, I definitely, definitely think that getting um, Ceratosaurus modified would be a very, very good thing. Get him a friend. I, th I think they're okay with a friend, the old friend. I th they might have a fight. We'll have to see. They fight, I might have to trank them. Oh, look! They were running together! The Pomp and Mulligan are friends. Edmontosaurus, what kind of like rating do you have? 16. So they're not very good, but you can have loads of them, so I imagine that adds up. So let's have a look at the island rating again now. Yes, it's still just not enough dinosaurs. The, the variety is amazing. The welfare is great. Um... The dinosaur visibility could be improved. Yay! New Triceratops. Pretty Triceratops. Pretty. Oh, you look lovely. With your arid skin. Oh, wow. Look at you. We are very pleased. Uh, you can just wait there a minute, though, Triceratops. Um, we'll name you while your while your friend is being made. I think you can be Ixias too. Ixias the second. Just a second, you're beautiful. I've got something for you, if you're interested. Increase the dinosaur genome to at least 60%. Very well. Apply inventory space upgrade to the fossil center. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, inventory space, building upgrade. Inventory space, there we go. I need two research centers required to get incubation speed. Oh, interesting, okay. I don't know why certain things lock. Very strange, but I'll do what they ask me to do anyway. The hotel seems to have helped a little bit with my rating. Um, facility rating, it's okay satisfaction. So the satisfaction seems to be not great. Food and drink seem to be the next thing to really work on and shopping. Let's see. It might be that we need more food places, or it might be that we need to do some upgrades. Okay, so we could have more staff in there. Running costs. Okay, we're making a loss on it. Selling the dino hat. So we could also sell a dino shirt. Or a dino onesie. Should we sell dino onesies? So can we only sell one thing per shop? Is that like a, a thing? I mean, can I increase the shop to be able to sell more than one thing? And the fast food place seems to be selling dino bites, but we could sell dino feasts instead. Um, well, there's an expense of 14, so we, we need to sell it for a bit more than that. So we need to sell it for at least 15. I'm mostly doing this to keep the guests happy.
We're getting an income off it now. Yeah, if I sell it for 17, I think that that will be all right. Hopefully they won't be too unimpressed with that. Um, for the clothes, we are making a loss on that as well. I'm not going to sell like a dino onesie for six dollars. Twenty-four dollars. We'll see how we do with that. So that's just a small profit on those. And I'll see if I can do anything to uh, increase the capacity at these places. So uh, buildings, let's see if there's any. We have a restaurant as well as a fast food place. Um... Oh, are they still researching the building upgrade? Oh, they're still doing the fossil center for a couple more minutes. But yeah, I definitely could research a couple more like food places and things like that, which would get my stars up. Definitely. Because I'm doing alright on the dinos. I just don't have enough of them. Okay, out you come, Triceratops. I'm going to incubate a Ceratosaurus again. I'm going to modify its genome just to have pretty skin. If I can. Oh. It can't have pretty skin. Could make it more resilient, which gives me an extra two. But that's about all I can do. Okay, let's do that, I think. Incubate! It's expensive, but hopefully it'll be worth it. So let's um let's get this other triceratops into the park before in fact I'll name it first. Oh no, it, it's Ixius 2. Let's get Ixius 2 into the park before that um, new big fat scary dinosaur comes in. Come on Ixius 2, I don't want you to get hurt. In you come. Come and see your friends. So yeah, still just not enough dinosaurs. Need to make more and more and more. But I'm not sure whether it's like counting the um, rating or, or what. Come on, Ixius2. In you go. In you go. No, no, no. Struthiomimesis, please stay out of there. Miko Philly, get out of there. Seriously, dude. You don't want to be in there when I let out the Ceratosaurus. Do you? No. No, you do not. Oh, now Bubbles is wanting to have a little look in there. No, no, Bubbles! But, oh, I wasn't quick enough. Sometimes it's hard to, like, click on the actual gate. Once Bubbles comes out of there, we'll work on that. But, um, yeah, we have the Ceratosaurus ready when I can get the herbivores out of the pen. And... Well, genetic research. So, can I... I've got arid genes. Rainforest gene. Once I get to Isla Sauna, I can unlock that. There's a lot of things in here that I can't do. I can do an alpine. Hmm. But it doesn't look like I can do that to any of my current dinosaurs. Because it doesn't look like it can be on Triceratops or... Oh, it can be put on Draco Rex though. So when I get Draco Rex, that would be a good thing to have because I could put Alpine genes on it. But Draco Rex can also have Arid, so that might not be so good. Um, intuitive learning, aggressive instincts, immune response, intensive repair. I'm hoping that like intuitive learning would maybe. I don't know. All of this just does seem quite like geared towards making them fight better <laughs> it's like i don't want them to fight each other i want them to live in peace and harmony but never mind anyway um on research i think i will just go for the building um things and get like a restaurant or something 
Oh, right, I can't do that until I'm on the next island. I can make a bowling alley if I have three research centers. Okay, well, I'm thinking maybe building upgrades then, see if I can upgrade them at all. So can I upgrade my food and drink places? Asset container, power, Hammond, creation lab, expedition, ranger, and research. No, I cannot. Not on this island anyway. So it's a little bit like restrictive there. I could put in extra clothes shops and extra fast food places. Um to to try and you know, I could put one maybe in by the hotel or something like that. Or and give them somewhere to eat when they're around that sort of area, maybe. Maybe, maybe along here somewhere. Yay! Dinosaurs ready to release. Well, that's going to be a dangerous dinosaur, so I really hope there's no herbivores in this pen. Seems like there aren't at the moment, so that's really good. But I will thoroughly check that there's no one hiding in the shadows. Nope. 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 Okay, I think we look good. We look good for... Releasing this dinosaur. It has a rating of 80. I'm hoping this will help. Hello. Great job on that contract. Oh yeah. Star power. Reputation reward. Quichton Crichtonosaurus. Oh right. Is that named after Michael Crichton, the writer of Jurassic Park by any chance? A carnivore, I see. This time a ceratosaurus. There are distinctive spines that run down its back, and a bladed horn on its head. <laughs> Just what you don't want to run into when you're out there alone. Or in a group. Or anywhere, yeah. So who wants to be... Stone waves, you're gonna be a ceratosaurus. Okay, so the last task, I think, um, before we... Oh, hello. I have unlocked the second island. Fantastic. Open your emergency shelters to protect your yes, guests. Site C, more commonly known as Isla Muerta. A newly developed island. The name, roughly translated, and I do mean roughly, the island of the dead. Fitting. Humorous, even. Yes. He just likes talking about death all the time, doesn't he? Like, oh, yeah, everything's gonna go wrong. I'm so dead. Everyone's gonna be dead. <laughs> ne negative over there. So we're gonna have tropical storms. We're gonna need emergency sh shelters to protect guests from dangerous storms. Ranger team and ACU management. Dangerous diseases. Invest in research and cures for new diseases found on the island. Hmm. So guys, do we want to go to a new island and see how that works? I think we do. But I think before we do that, I'm going to probably end the episode here. So we had three episodes on this island here. It looks like um, Naniog. Naniog has died. Because uh, of old age. Because of old age. So all our dinos are dying of old age, but I think we're going to just get stone waves in into into go and see Cthulhu, so they can be friends. I also want to observe the um, Ceratosauruses together and see how they play. I want to make sure that they play nicely, as long as they're the same species, that they maybe won't fight. They maybe still will. There's every chance that they still will be like horrible to each other. I'm trying to keep carnivores and herbivores separate, but that doesn't mean that they won't, like, decide to fight each other and be a pain in the backside, so... I can't guarantee dino, um, harmony, but I will try my best. Carnivores, if you decide to be mean to each other, then there's not a lot I can do. I can just keep you away from the herbies. There we are. So now we have two big old carnivores in the the pen over here. We have a whole bunch of herbivores. 
like swimming around in the lake and stuff. Um, I think that, to be honest, I could just release loads more dinosaurs and uh, then we would eventually get up to um, my facility rating at the moment is like four and a half. My dino rating is like two and a half. So basically it's just a case of making more and uh, releasing more dinosaurs into the pens and then I will be great and fantastic. So I think um, possibly a load more um, carnivores and things like that. But I think we'll have more fun on the second island because I think we're going to have a little bit more to do. It'll probably unlock a few more. We can always use a few more resources. Here's our chance. I'll accept. Some. I'll accept that mission, but I, I'm going to be going to a, a new island pretty soon anyway. So yeah, as I say, I think we're going to have more fun on the next island because there will be more to do. There'll be more unlocked. I'm starting to come across things that I want to do that I can't because I haven't unlocked the right islands. So next time, I think we're definitely going to go over to Island. Sorry, Isla, isn't it? That's how it's pronounced. Isla Muerta. And we will see how we do over there with all the storms and things like that. So it'll be a bit more of a challenge. Um, I might have to do things like double fences and things like that. And, and see if we can, you know, try and keep the, the dinos in when storms hit. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Let's, uh, let's end with a, a look at all my dinos, all my herbivores, for example, in here. They're so beautiful, all of them. But yes, we will be saying goodbye to those. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more, then please subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you all next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.